it, it starts, I suppose, with the with the issue that everyone is familiar with, actual physical violence against a woman, uh, very commonly within her own family, uh, and uh, less commonly but more publicly known outside the family, someone who uh, drags a woman behind the bushes and, and rapes her. But that is just one facet of gender-based violence. There's also huge problems around son preference, uh, uh, choosing what child you will bear. Uh, in some countries, honour killings because a woman doesn't behave as she should. Uh, and then, of course, there's the whole range of psychological and emotional violence, uh, which incorporates such things as keeping a woman in her place, intimidating her, not allowing her to associate anymore with her family, keeping her money short, not allowing her to work, a whole range of issues like that. And then, as well as that, there's conflict-related violence against women. What actually happens to a woman during a time of conflict, uh, and we've seen in, in recent conflicts around the world that uh, rape has been used as a weapon of war, but as well as that, there is the conflict surrounding the family that arises because of the sheer stress. Well, of course, there's the conflict-related violence, which uh, in many countries around Asia have been through periods of con conflict within the last 50 years. Uh, but as well as that, there are some quite uh, specific forms, such as trafficking in women, which you may recall was very, very big in East Europe during the time when the wall fell and all of that, and the poverty was exposed and the women had to find a way of making a living. That is true of many Asian countries as well. And that is trafficking for prostitution. It's also trafficking to uh, take women to other countries to work as servants, uh, to marry people whom, uh, who don't have enough women in their own populations. Uh, there's all sorts of trafficking which arise out of just plain poverty. I believe there is. I mean, I'm, I'm well aware that the ADB is, is, a, is an institution that's founded on economic rationalism, uh, and that is its focus, to reduce poverty uh, by improving economies uh, and so on. Well, one of the ways that an economy can be improved is by releasing the potential of half the population. I think even more importantly, the role of an institution like the ADB is to find tools to measure the extent of violence within a community uh, because there is not one country in the world that can seriously anymore say we don't have violence against women. And so the ADB could prove, ha have an invaluable role in, in developing the tools that are developing in many countries around the world, but tools that will work for this region and the realities of this region. Uh, well, the first step, if, if a woman's going to participate fully in her community, she needs uh, at least a basic education, so it has to start there. Uh, once she has an education, she can actually work and earn more money without having to leave her country and work as a maid for someone in another part of the region or another part of the world. Uh, that way she can keep her family together, uh, she can uh, work alongside her husband or partner to provide economically for the family. Uh, it makes the family more secure financially, but it also makes the community more secure, both in terms of less violence and more money. Um, we cannot afford to overlook the economic potential of half of our population. We, n no country is in a position to do that.